Hey YouTube, I'm back. Today we'll be opening up Admiral Raddus from Rogue One. This is the last wave in this series, and to me it's probably one of the better figs out of the, the, this wave. Um, he just has a great sculpt, and he looks pretty cool, and he had a pretty cool role in the movie. Again, if you don't remember the movie, spoiler alert, uh, his ship gets taken down. That Mon Calamari ship gets hit pretty hard by the man, Vader himself. So, uh... His accessories are pretty cool. He doesn't get a grappling hook. He gets an actual missile launcher and he gets a blaster. Um, so let's open up this new type of Mon Calamari and see what it's all about. All right, here is Admiral Raddus in all his glory. The artwork looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks just like the movie. Um, and even the figure is pretty close to likeness. So let's open it that up. Again, I pre-cut mine to try to save this pretty sweet looking picture in the background. I'll try to save it. Uh, let's pull them out. All right, so who we got here? Focus in on this guy. He's pretty good looking. I mean, the sculpt on it is amazing. The detail is really good. I'm actually surprised that they got this. Now, is he... Oh, he is exactly like pal in this few series i don't remember the monster that hangs out of the u-wing in the movie he does that laughing feature well his mouth has the same kind of tilt so that's kind of cool the inside of mon calamari's mouth that's all trap but i don't say that <laughs> anyways little joke there so unlike your regular mon calamari he is blue he's feeling a little sad i guess that his ship got destroyed by Vader? Maybe, I don't know, but he's not your regular lobster orange. He does have the regular lobster hands though. So that doesn't change. Uh, his outfit is almost the exact same color as his skin, so that's different for sure. Uh, reading on the back of the box, it does say he was one of the first part of the Rebel Alliance as far as a leader from the Mon Calamari, so it kind of sounds like Akbar comes later, uh, maybe replacing Radis after he goes down. So, I mean, we really don't know if he did go down. We did see his ship pretty disabled, so I assumed he went down. Anyways, like I said, the sculpt's cool. I like it. Let's take a look at his accessories. It's this rocket firing missile launcher here is it's spring loaded i'm just gonna shoot it out my hand real quick is it the push down or is it a button if I push it to the side yep. let's see to aim all the way Oh yeah, you gotta push up on it for it to shoot. Does not go very far. That's pretty cool. It's a laser. It's a pretty big weapon there. Does he have a holster? He does not have a holster to put on. So he will be holding this bad boy the whole time. Does he stand? Let's take a look. Oh, that was my fault. He's pretty solid. I think he's going to stand pretty well. There you have it. Admiral Raddus, smile review. Again, probably the best figure out of this wave. Uh, he does have his regular five points of articulation. His neck is not movable, but they seem to counter that with having... A head that has a joint for a jaw. A door drop. So, I mean, it's hard not to do that. Door drop. So, there it is, guys. If Again, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you like it, hit the like button somewhere down there on the bottom of this video. Uh, I want to keep doing these figures until The Last Jedi comes out. And some more Lego sets. I got some Pop Vile I haven't opened. I mean... The store rooms is packed for sure. I'm running out of real estate. So like any collector, uh, the difference between collector and horror is you actually curate your stuff. So uh, I got to be a better curator, get some of my old stuff out, send some of my new stuff in. 
Uh, I got a lot of Star Wars, so, well not a lot, some Star Wars Celebration stuff that I got to open and review. Um, so that is coming up. Again, thanks guys for watching, guys and gals, and enjoy the sweet pics.